in stature in favor with God and with men this guy is saved but he needs to grow if he does not grow then Galatians chapter 4 becomes his tragedy are we together it says this I say then an heir for as long as he's a child differed not from a slave although he be Lord of all but that he's under tutors and governors until the time appointed so an heir provided he remains a child bankrupt of the knowledge that provides growth that he does not differ from a slave this gentleman's next port of call is to grow everybody say growth the growth is threefold number one the first dimension of growth for this gentleman is to be brought to a point where the foundational pillars the foundational pillars of the christian faith are taught him i'm showing you how this person will become a powerful man tomorrow the foundational pillars the bible begins to tell us in in hebrews chapter 6 that leaving these basic doctrines let us move further to more superior things paraphrasing and he said the doctrine of baptism and of this and of that and of that there are basic foundational pillars of the christian faith please look up if this guy receives the best of mentorship he should be introduced number one to the value of the word of god in the life of the believer this is key it's not something he should learn later he should learn that in this kingdom the boundaries of god's commitment to us is scripture he must learn that the primary way of knowing God is scripture all scripture were inspired by the Holy Ghost profitable for reproof for doctrine for correction that the man of God may be mature fruitful in every good work are we together so this man must be brought to a point where he understands the value of the Word of God number two this man must be brought to a point where he understands the foundational value of the priesthood ministry of the believer the priesthood ministry is not something he should learn when he's ordained into ministry by priesthood he should be able to understand the power of prayer as a system that transforms you and as a system that helps you to legislate in this kingdom when this man is not taught prayer early it will affect him are you seeing the sequence of growth number three this man must be taught the value of corporate fellowship and community life as a system for preserving kingdom values. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Behold how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity. Are we together? It is like the oil that comes upon the head of Aaron down to his bed, to his skirt, his garment. He said, there the Lord had commanded the blessing. This man must be introduced to the foundation of corporate fellowship. Number four, this man must be introduced to an understanding of his identity in Christ. It matters for this man to know who he has now become in Christ the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3 and verse 29 it says and if ye be Christ's then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise there are many things that the Bible calls the believer for instance it says behold what manner of love the father had bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God is a name he must know number two the Bible tells us that we have been raised up together with Christ are we together he must understand that fact number three he must know now that he has become a partaker of the spirit whereby we cry Abba father that this man has access to God according to Hebrews he says let us therefore come boldly before the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and help in time of need this man must know he has access to the wisdom of the spirit now 
he has access to fellowship he should understand this as a foundational pillar of his spiritual growth he must see the necessity of the fivefold ministry in his life as gifts given to the body to help mature him the next thing is this man must understand that he has a purpose and a destiny in christ it's a foundational understanding it's not something he should have when he graduates from school or gets married no the bible talks about believers being predestined according to his eternal counsel he must know that he was born for a reason are we together when this gentleman you are, this guy is stooping down to respect me his back will pain him oh stand, stand straight eh? he respects me and he's leaning like this god bless you for your honor that's how the world will bow before you eh? now watch this but, but you can you can stand you have you have tried let's 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 be fair on the gentleman praise the lord now do you know that when this guy now understands these things they are very strong pillars now he can begin to move to the deeper matters of the kingdom are we together what we call the mysteries of the kingdom he will now begin to understand the methodologies the ways of god he now begins to understand the keys of the kingdom he now begins to understand the mysteries that connect to the results that he desires already remember that the foundation of his life is god remember that he knows who he is in christ because this man is about to go through challenges somewhere in his life and if he's not told who he is in christ and the value and the power of prayer and he does not have a system of mentorship that will tell him he's all right this guy will be discouraged soon when you get born again there's usually a bonus for you whether you pray or not things just work you are jumping is to motivate you are we together and you look at believers laboring and you are like ah, you mean this thing is this simple it's an encouragement so that whatever comes your way you will know your life is in his hands yes do you know that this gentleman haven't completed this realm will now move to the next realm where he's mentored on the ways of god now i begin to teach this guy on the principles of the kingdom here is where we begin to show him mysteries in the kingdom that there is a mystery that connects longevity there is a mystery that connects exemption how favor works how giving works how the relationship with the holy spirit is built how the anointing grows the necessity for this this guy continues to learn and learn them again while he grows now this content is graduating this guy from a carnal man to become a spiritual man with proper mentorship he will get to a point where he becomes strong and mature his convictions are strong he's not only believing because a pastor said a prophet said an apostle said he has come into an a, a conviction about god watch this when he gets to this level the next assignment is for him to now be taught the principles that make him a battle axe thou art my battle axe and my weapon of war that you are not only in the spirit to grow alone are we together now that is time for you to mature and now become useful this is where you need to now understand the principles of kingdom advance what it means to become an ambassador what it means to be mightily used by god it is at this point this man begins to learn the laws of influence this man begins to understand the deeper dynamics of the power of the holy spirit you see this is how he started as a naive confused christian not knowing his left from his right and with a few months and a few years of proper discipleship look what he has become a mighty battle axe 
now look at this why are many believers in church for many years the average church has two to three services per week and after many years the believer is still here fighting for appointment fighting for deaconry fighting for eldership fighting for this and that and that and that and that and sometimes the pressure and politics of ministry will make the person to be ordained here as a pastor are we together now a baby about to lead babies he does not know anything about the things of god members say we don't like you and he says i'm not doing ministry again why because he's a baby he's broke and he fetches from church offering and says i will return it later he's a baby he has not seen the value and the excellence of service this guy is persecuted and he says god why me these are the languages of babes it's a strong meter for them who are of full age who by reason of use have learned to exercise their senses unto godliness if i turn to god today and say why me is is an embarrassment um is 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 an embarrassment to his investment in my life not at this level the difference between this man and this woman is that at this level you should have gained mastery the things of the kingdom you should not be learning how to walk at this level when you see someone who is you don't put babies on wheelchair but if an adult cannot walk you put him on wheelchair nobody puts a baby on wheelchair and say i said you should walk and you are not walking nobody prays for a baby for a miracle and say rise up and walk it is it is allowed in that realm but when you become an adult and you cannot walk it's an attack listen there are when people say they are matured as believers ask them what makes you think you are mature say i'm not a baby christian at all i'm not why what makes you believe say i've suffered in this life no that's not the reason why you are, you are a mature christian not at all it is true that the furnace don't get me wrong please understand this it is true that the furnace of affliction can refine but suffering is not the reason why you are a mature christian you may be suffering as a result of ignorant attack that you don't have the knowledge for this person should be able to help this person in a heartbeat this person should be equipped with such spiritual knowledge listen if i come and say pastor i'm in trouble like an encyclopedia should just open which mystery is allocated to solve this man's problem this is the justification for being spiritual when you talk to this person and say um you know the way life is you are supposed to be here not here this person should have at this point had a covenant with god or be connected to strong covenants that even where his or her personal faith fails there should still be a way of routing results otherwise who brought you here who qualified you here are you seeing that a lot of baby christians continue to say they are much at this realm people can start falling in your meetings you don't need to get here right here in fact before you understand one impartation and you will use falling down and say watch Benihin is throwing people me too I'm throwing people we are the same whoever told you please understand what I'm teaching you this is a refresher series that many believers do not understand so the bible says i will give you pastors after my heart men of god hear me you have an assignment to build people sequentially you must know what they are to become not hope that you are doing the right thing like an architect when an architect is building he does not sit down hoping that i hope the building is coming well he has the master plan already he's only hoping that you get to a point where you are able to understand at this level there is something you can tell God that will make God act in a certain way to this man that he does not yet have 
it is one Lord rich unto all but my brothers and my sisters something you have done a process of growth has brought you to this point there is a level of relationship and intimacy you have with God you cannot fear their fears no you cannot if me and this guy pray he's going to be frustrated we can pray general church prayer but if he comes to the secret place to pray with me this guy is going to be tired he's going to pray from his realm and he will hear me talk to God in a way that does not make sense it may not even sound scriptural but it is there is a level I will call God names he has not had anywhere it's a name that my experience gave God He can come to the secret place and see me sitting quietly on the ground like a herbalist and say sir let's pray i said that's what i'm doing and he said i i thought prayer is just when you are talking and rolling and i say yes just do what you are taught you are correct only you can satisfy me only you can satisfy my soul satisfy my soul only you can satisfy me only you can satisfy my soul satisfy my soul only you can satisfy me only you can satisfy my soul you satisfy my soul. Sing it one more time. Yeah. Only you can satisfy me. Only you can satisfy my soul. Satisfy my soul. Now listen. Don't worry, you can stand back. This is already a refresher course. Many of us are born again. But I tell you why our lives are unfruitful. I can watch you pray for one hour and tell you at least 10 things you have done wrong. As serious as you are praying, I will tell you the parts that will be answered and the part that will not be answered. I will tell you what was unnecessary in the content of your prayer. Now at this point, God will not show you because the goal is not the accuracy of your prayer but the zeal of your prayer. So he will allow the error just pass there's no need for accuracy. He's cultivating zeal. You can pray and make mistakes. The goal is that you become prayerful. The realm of accuracy is waiting for you in the future. So you will find out that you are praying a lot of nonsense. But the more you pray, the more God is backing it. The idea, it is easier to edit your prayer life when you have received the spirit of prayer and supplication. When you are corrected here, you will be discouraged. When you get here, you will find out that many things you prayed for were already answered in your growth. You were never supposed to pray for them. Growth already answered that prayer request. Only you can satisfy me. Only you can satisfy my soul. Satisfy my soul. Please sit down. Sit down. There are many people parading themselves as matured Christians. You say, why? You say, I've been born again for 10 years. What does that mean? What does that mean? It is true that longevity, if well utilized, that's time. And if you invested in it spiritually, the Bible says that he that sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap life everlasting. But he that sows to the flesh will reap corruption. You can sow to the flesh for many years. It does not mean you reap life. Are we together? This thing I told you is the basic foundation of any believer's Christian life. If you do not know this, you will leave God eventually. Something about the absence. Now imagine that, where, where are you come? Imagine that this guy just got born again. And the next thing he's hearing is a teaching on influence or a teaching on prosperity this guy is going to fail woefully do you know why because it is dangerous to be taught prosperity as a carnal man 
the flesh will not allow the purity of that message to bless you the message will fall on lust that is already there and it will make this guy a dangerously materialistic person so there is a sequence of growth not every topic is relevant to every believer imagine that this guy gets born again and his first message is love and and life partner and relationship do you know what is going to happen to this guy he's already dead even before the series on relationship is over because i can tell you this guy's prayer life is not going anywhere this guy's life is not going anywhere the awareness that there is a beautiful lady to see and marry would not you think he will pray the way you are praying that you are praying like a madman not when you are aware lady is looking at you no how what if i I, I miss the moment and the flesh is there deceiving you and you are failing programming woeful failure but if this guy is taught that the beginning of his life is God he can be praying like a madman any lady that does not like that demonstration does not like a profitable destiny yes sir There are people today who cannot pray in tongues because they were taught something before tongues. And what they were taught corrupted their passion, that reckless abandonment. Let me tell you, those days when we started ministry here, you would see the ladies, including hot CC ladies, when it's time to pray, they will roll under the anointing from one point to the other. They will stand up with the whole the whole paraphernalia run pulled to pieces. It matters how we are taught. It matters who, who defines your spiritual value. Who cultivates your hunger and your appetite for the things of God.